We have a spring look to show you. We so, do? yes, Joseph does. Yeah. I don't know if it feels like spring, but it. it I mean, looks, sort of. Yeah. There's some nice colors out there. It's a beautiful Cinco Mile McMinnville. I was showing this because there was some snowfall on the coast range there in the hills, but most of that has melted even in some of the higher elevations, for the exception of, you know, the Cascades or, you know, above maybe 1,500 feet for the coast range. This is a nice spring look though. We've had spring showers, some thunderstorms, but temperature is cold in the 40s and 50s. We should be about 61 degrees right now in the lower 60s. You know, that 75 degree day that we had like last week, that was above average about, you know, 15 degrees, but we've been below average about 15 degrees for the last four or five. All right, 51 for McMinnville. This is out of the Evergreen Aviation Space Museum. Have you been there? Such a sweet place to go to and check out. 51 degrees coming out of the Dallas. You can see some rain showers there in the distance. Uh, dry right over the city, but in the, in, in the far escape there, you can see that there's some showers, maybe even some snowfall going on. All right, here's the radar. We've had our fair share of thunderstorms this afternoon, bringing in a lot of hail. Very similar to some of the hailstorms that we had going on yesterday. Very small hail and at times maybe even some grapple. So it's been kind of mixed no doubt about that. It's been drying up though a little bit around areas of wine country where we were just looking through McMinnville over towards the Stolen Winery there and extending down to the south. We'll likely have some more moisture fill in that gap there as we go into tomorrow morning. But for the most part tonight, things are kind of settling down southwest of Portland and through areas of uh, the hills there. Okay, here's what's going on close to home. Portland through Lake Oswego. We have West Lynn, Happy Valley. Walton area, we do have some showers, maybe a heavier shower there just over Lake Oswego, which will be pressing to the east. But this cell right here has really been picking up some steam just north of Camas. This area right here kind of extending up towards uh, maybe Battleground and Hawkinson region. But this is going to be some very heavy rain and some hail right there, maybe even transitioning to snowfall for the higher elevations kind of tucked into the Cascade foothills up in Washington. All right, I'll zoom in on now. You can see that things are kind of drying and a little more stable here. There's a lot of moisture to the south. This is actually a separate system that's going to kind of peel to the northeast. Hopefully that brings in some more moisture and snowfall for those basins to south and central Oregon because that's where they definitely need it. This week has really helped us out closer to home. Today bringing in that hail, as I mentioned, and a lot of storm activity. It's because of this cold air aloft, this upper level troughing that's been over the top of us for the last four days. It's pretty much sticking around as we go into the weekend. There's going to be a brief moment where we'll have a ridge, which is going to be this bump that arrives on Sunday. That should warm us up a little bit on Sunday for Easter and keep us dry. But then look at this, another pool of some cold air right behind it, which means if you're hoping for some warm weather, a lot of sunshine, I just don't see it happening anytime soon. I think we're going to be kind of hanging out in this pattern for the next week and a half. All right, future cast through the uh, rest of today. It starts drying up. We're going to clear out too. I think it's going to get cold tonight down to near freezing. If you have anything outdoors that's a little vulnerable to that, you're going to want to cover it, take it inside. And uh, we may even have a little bit of ice on some of the bridges out there. We get into tomorrow morning, though, a few clouds. We have this batch of moisture coming up on our weather models, which may produce a little burst of some snow and a rain mix. But I think we're pretty much staying away from the low elevation snow, unless it's a very heavy rain uh, for the morning hours tomorrow. The afternoon's going to be another day with sun breaks and thunderstorms, little pockets of hail, maybe some lightning. It's going to be a busy Thursday. We settle down a bit on Friday. I think that's going to be a moment where we'll have some dry time. And then Saturday, we have another system move on in. So that's going to be the start of our weekend. Notice on Sunday for Easter Sunday, it's just going to be a cloudy day, but it should be at least dry on Sunday. As far as rain totals go, as we kind of zoom through Wednesday, Thursday, and heading into Friday into the first part of the weekend, we may push about a half an inch coming out of Portland. That's good. We're already over three inches. We're above our monthly total. Last uh, year, we didn't even break a half an inch. This year, we're over three inches. It's been very busy over the last 12 days and uh, we can use it and uh, we'll use it in the summer as well as far as that snowfall goes for the mountains. All right, seven day forecast 50 degrees on Thursday with a couple of thunderstorms. I mentioned lower 50s next couple of days. The warmest one is actually on Sunday with just a high of 58, but uh, should feel pretty nice, I guess, relatively hey. speaking. Is Sunday Easter? It is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Nice I've, I've got teenagers, but they still like finding finding the eggs. It's always fun. Uh, my sure. My wife said she's going to make Easter baskets for our kids. I, I going to mail them to them? She said, yes, I'm going to mail them to them. Oh, Aww. okay. She's nice. a good mom. Yeah, good mom. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we invite you to take the coin six.